Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to talk about money anxiety. Does it exist? Yes, it does. And how <laughs> do you phase it? So this is based on our personal experience, um, our personal finance journey when it comes to, first, uh, I guess, financial freedom in a sense. Mm. So at a certain point in life, I had a money anxiety. Not a certain point in life, many uh, points every day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Um, because at a certain like, I guess for wait, wait, me, wait, wait, it's you, not me. Not you. Okay. <laughs> for me, I have the anxiety because mm. I am so scared that I'm not gonna have enough money. Every um, single day you're like that. Yeah. I it's got a, a lot of pressure, right? <laughs> Every but I don't day. know how you do it. Well, I got a control. <laughs> yeah. I got a plan. So for me, mm. like I don't know, it could be because I always distribute my income and you know going out there hustle and try and earn more trying yeah. to earn more i think mm -hmm. that was it and because at a certain point in my life we out I, I was very anxiety like i had really scared that we don't have enough money in the bank to pay off food still now until this day so it might be um, giving you nightmare comes to think of it and you're not the only one mm -hmm. no. and somehow <laughs> you just like yeah yeah relax take it easy uh -huh. remember... hey that's how a couple works right one is stressing out the other just chill <laughs> if both of us stressing what happened yeah that's leave true leave the kids at home <laughs> <That's true. laughs> and get out to work um, so for me it's like I remember the day where I actually have to um, stay up by myself uh, midnight Mm -hmm. in a dark cold winter mm -hmm. and just go through our finances where is the money coming in where is the money going out how come we're not growing how come we're every week it seems like we're going backwards uh -huh. eating our saving in a sense mm -hmm. instead of growing our income so that was our story so how do i go about from that to now fast forward you know a few years later or so yeah I'd say what is that seven plus years later yeah just turn around whereas mm. like you don't really have that anxiety and as much i still do <laughs> what are you talking about this morning you still yeah actually this true. morning true 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 this morning i think yeah. it's like i keep on pushing myself like hey here's the new gold post here's the next yeah. one here's the next one you, like, yeah never enough that's it anyway first so the, fir the first way that I deal with this, or that how we deal with it, is actually uh, get your debt in control. Like that was the day, in the middle of the night, winter, go through every mm -hmm. single finances, go through every single uh, point with points. Payment. Yeah. yeah, pinpoints where my, where my money going in, where is it going out? Mm -hmm. At the end of each week, where is it going in, where does it go out? Mm -hmm. Every week. I it's just budgeting. So because yeah. before that, uh, we're both working full time. We had some property invest, like investment properties, um, and then for our income is easy paying off yeah. for them. But then life changed. Got two kids, become one income, mm -hmm. and he worked so hard. I still feel like money's not going in anywhere, and it's going out, eating out, saving like what you said. That's it. Then um, because we did not have a budget. No, we didn't. We didn't. We just. You know, you yeah. take care of this, I take care of that, and I, we didn't we, even talk about it. We didn't spend much anyway. We we're like yeah. very frugal. Yeah. We don't go out to eat. We know we don't have enough money, but we never have it a clear picture how much we have. And that time was the debt controlling us. Yeah. Not that we're controlling the debt. And then um, we got everything sorted from I think that time was paying interest only we changed it to principal and interest because the interest rate is cheaper we did a calculation if we pay principal and interest together the total repayment is lower than just mm -hmm. paying interest so slowly from there we educate ourselves okay which way we can pay faster which way we can pay more mm -hmm. and we will not think about tax because we cannot live how can we think of how can we minimize tax or tax return we don't we pay very little tax at that time because our income was so little that's it mm -hmm. and that was in that mortgage um side of it yeah and then on the everyday side of it how can i actually afford to put food on the table mm -hmm. and that was a big struggle because um it feels like we haven't gone out we haven't taken a break we can't even just go get a takeaway uh, I just time. don't like to go anywhere personally. No, as in like just going out as <laughs> yeah. a family, yeah. just, 
you know, to celebrate. Mm-hmm. I was a bit kind of sad because of that. And mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, this is not it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we have to, I guess, um, like understanding where our money is and out, the flow yeah. of it, I guess, the mm-hmm. cash flow of it. Mm-hmm. So, and then the next one, once we figure out how much is there outgoing, yeah. we're figuring out how, uh, we, no, how much you spend, right? Like all of, all of the spending. Mm-hmm including our mortgage repayment, our expenses, grocery, grocery. kids activity, yeah. the bills comes with this property, the one we're living in, mm-hmm. and also the bills with the investment properties. So, now, that's a lot of bills that we are on. <laughs> yeah. So just by breathing alone, it's like, okay, it's costing us. <sighs> so as soon as that, as soon as you understand where the money is going out, mm-hmm. is the next thing we'd be having a set, small, achievable goal. Yes. So I knew at one stage, like, okay, this investing property thing is not working out. Why is it costing us a lot of money? Yeah. So it works out to be that we are over leveraging. Yeah, we were because we just paid five percent um, mm-hmm. deposit for I think one or two, two of them, yeah, two of the properties, and then the rent just couldn't cover mortgage like again we're down to one income that income can surface us to it but not the extra repayment for the mortgage so we miscalculated that's it learn from the mistake <laughs> and then uh, there will be a lot of argument as you go along mm-hmm. if you are a couple doing this um but if you're a single person well it might be a little bit more easier easier and i don't know you got no one to talk to yeah the hardest thing is like no one, yeah. no one to no one can understand mm. what you're going through because mm. some of your friends maybe haven't been going through this and they don't life. understand yeah or maybe they're not openly talk about money that's it for us like there's a lot of argument as we go along we mm-hmm. have to like you know we have to sell on a few of the properties mm-hmm. in yep. order for us to be um i guess get out from the debt that's it yeah <laughs> and then the next one will be mm. reverse saving so figuring out backwards let's mm-hmm. say you know if you're paying out a certain dollar figure um going out for a coffee for example mm. and then what if instead of daily you do it every two days mm-hmm. and then next week every three days yep. next week maybe once a week or you know as you go along try and figure out how can you save a lot more yeah it's true mm-hmm. so as soon as you figure out your debt how do you can save money or cut off expenses i think also you well you know that you have saving in your in your account then at least you mentally you feel more secure I'll what if, the, right? Yeah. But you still don't see any money, and you, I don't know, <laughs> this guy now. <laughs> for me, I what well, for me if if money's under control, I got money in the account, and we know that we don't have big bills coming. Then why scare? Why afraid? Yeah, I think right? it's because I still have that nightmare when when we were in, I guess that mm. consolidating debt, like mm. figuring out how come there's not a single no cent. Out of well, we were not in like not really in debt not personal debt not mm-hmm. credit card debt it was just over leverage in prop investment properties yep so and then everything fell apart like yep. burn down house insurance can't claim or some someone break it in and vacancy all this stuff so, it is just magnified the the the, the, the trouble we had at that mm-hmm. time the next one will be mm-hmm. rebudgeting as you go along mm-hmm. you're bound to learn how to budget the first couple of times it was so hard yes you have put all this number and you try to be perfect about this tiny little two digit number at the end of the dot don't worry about that just do round number (laughs) just put a big figure so even now we don't do it precisely you know the round number is enough you don't if you push yourself too hard then it it just make it too hard Mm -hmm. and then you will give up yeah. Do an easy way slowly from there. When you nail the easy way, then maybe go to intimate level. Yeah. yeah. For us, we're doing. Yeah, yeah intermediate. intermediate. <laughs> intimate, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, for us, for example, with our budgeting in the beginning, it was just in a piece of paper money comes in, money mm-hmm. goes out. And then after that, instead of going to the nearest cents, you know what, go to the nearest dollar. We found the nearest dollar is actually still a bit too hard. Mm-hmm. So, we go to the nearest. Ten dollars, yeah. yeah, and then from, hundreds. yeah, instead of ten dollars, mm-hmm. we go a bit. You know what? This is a bit too hard. Still, we'll go to the nearest fifty. Yeah, and then you know what? It makes sense for us. We're just gonna go in the nearest hundreds. Yeah. So, having a budget, I guess, gives you an understanding where your money going in and going out. Yes, there's bound to be a like, I guess, a surplus or so because mm-hmm. um, 
I yes. rather you over budget because then you know that you will have extra saving and yep. all this money in your bank and then you put it in your saving account. Yeah. And you got it under control and That's you don't it. have to worry, you don't have money. <laughs> I still do. And the next one will be <laughs> trades, uh, what is it? Um, trade spending for saving. saving. Uh, we have a rule of like, if we need to buy something, mm -hmm. we, especially big ticket purchases, um, we have to sleep on it. Sometimes yeah. a week, sometimes a month, sometimes a year. At the very least, you gotta sleep on it. For example, the car. Okay, so that one there's a big purchase. So, so you, you, you really liked the car, what, 10, 7 years ago? Yep. Already. So we've been thinking, 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 and then, and then the, the, the one we can afford, and that's what we like, it came out, and still thinking, thinking, thinking. Every night, just watching YouTube, oh my God, I had yeah. enough. <laughs> like, you, you really like it, and even I asked you a question, okay, if we get another car, not the Tesla, yep. would you still look at the Tesla? Yes. Okay, I can't <laughs> deal with it, let's get one. <laughs> so you have to think, and we, we do think long term, and our car has been 14 years. Now, mind you, though, we are not buying this car in credit. We're actually going to buy yeah. this in, in cash. Yeah. So how do we do that? We save. save. We, we budget. budget. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, you know, as... Have a plan. Have a plan. How do we actually pay this in cash? Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, every week when we place the order, oh, it turned out to be like... It's not the next day delivery. Next it's year. six months delivery. Yeah. So. <laughs> so we have a budget. Okay, then we want to pay this in cash. How do I do that? How much do we have in our, let's say, saving for to go towards this big purchase? And how, if you have a shortfall, well, how much do we have to save in order for us to pay this in full when Correct. we're actually taking a delivery of this car? And that's what we did. So it wasn't an impulse purchase. Mm -hmm. It's been years of desire <laughs> a goal a that goal. was a goal yeah mm -hmm. and we're saving as we go along and mm -hmm. then because of that let's say our because it's to us it's a big ticket purchase Very big. yes yeah and because of that we have to go back to fill up the emergency fund again and all that jazz i guess the buffer yeah because it is you know it's just that is not emergency it's, not, fund. it's, it's not, our it's not saving like, goal yeah it is our saving, but to what's to a goal that a big ticket item, for example, some people may be saving for renovation or mm -hmm. maybe holiday, but we're saving for a car. Yeah. So when that saving account drown, um, we're draining Topped it out. Up, yeah. When this is gone, then, and we'll then we have start to again. start again. <laughs> yeah. To be up to, to have our comfortable buffer. Yeah. And then and last one, start an emergency fund. We, I don't understand. We have heaps of emergency fund and you're still stressing out. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> there's never been enough in emergency fund. I say, no, it, I feel like there's not enough. I feel, I feel like it's like, oh, we gotta put fire here, put fire there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. for me, like emergency fund, it's a must be like you have to have it. Mm. I mean, we already have like a twelve months emergency fund, but yeah. I feel like it's not enough. Yeah, I think you need twelve years. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. So, I, I I don't know. For me, like minimum is one month to three months. Yeah, minimum is, I'll say three months. Yeah. And depends on your situation. You start with a week first. You start, you start with 1,000. Yeah. That's the bare minimum. It just in case anything accident or happen. Mm -hmm. And depends on your situation. Are you single? Are you family? Mm -hmm. uh, people? Or are you working full time? Are you self-employed? All yeah. these are different. If you're self-employed with family, that's the highest risk. We yeah. used to be like that. That's mm -hmm. why we, we, we had, um, we still have soon won't be 12 months um emergency fund for that so um that that is a bare minimum mm. like for us anyway this this is what comfortable for us mm. i mean it took us a long time to get there um you know for some people maybe one month is enough maybe three yeah. months is enough but at least some sort of emergency fund mm. in case if anything happened for a certain number of time mm. where you are not earning any to work correct so Anyway, hopefully th this helps, guys. Um, mm -hmm. If you uh, like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, comment. Um, this is was, what was it? Um, I guess money anxiety. <laughs> How can you deal with money anxiety? Just get your money under control. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, comment, and... See you next time. Bye. Bye.